Hi everyone. In this video we're going to talk about a really nice book. It's called Discrete and Combinatorial Mathematics and Applied Introduction and it's written by Ralph P. Grimaldi. This is a pretty solid textbook. I have spent uh, quite a bit of time reading uh, through several of the sections in this book. It's a really good book on uh, discrete mathematics. This is the first page of the table of contents. So the author starts with counting, which is very different from other discrete math books. Um, most discrete math books start with logic, uh, but Grimaldi chooses to start with counting, which is quite nice. Uh, then he goes on to logic, and then the all-important set theory. Grimaldi then goes on to discuss properties of the integers. In particular, uh, there is a chapter on induction. And you see here there's quite a bit of topics here. So the well-ordering principle, uh, mathematical induction, and then recursive definitions, the division algorithm, the greatest common divisor, uh, and the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Then he goes on to talk about relations and functions. And then finite state machines. I have never read uh, this, this chapter. And then relations the second time around. Same thing, I'm not familiar with this chapter. Inclusion, exclusion, generating functions, and then recurrence relations. Then he goes on to discuss graph theory, and then trees, and then optimization and matching. The last part of the book is quite interesting. Uh, it's modern applied algebra. So Grimaldi talks about rings and modular arith arithmetic. So kind of cool. Uh, not very typical in a discrete math book. See some more topics there. And then he finishes with finite fields and combinatorial designs. And there's some appendices as well. This book also contains uh, solutions uh, to the odd numbered exercises. Not just answers, but actual solutions, uh, partial or almost full, uh, to all of the odd numbered exercises. The readability of this book is pretty good. Um, you definitely want to sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil as you read through this book. Uh, read it carefully, read it slowly, take notes, and make sure you understand all of the examples that the author discusses. Uh, this is true for any math book, but especially for this one. I find that most uh, discrete math books are kind of hard to read. Um, you know, you, you just have to really, really sit down and just carefully try to do stuff on your own. Um, they don't, they never seem to be written as elegant uh, as other books uh, that cover other topics. So take your time with this book uh, and try to do all of the proofs on your own before the author does and then look at the author's solutions for the hints. I think where this book really shines are with the exercises. The author has tons of problems in each section and not only that, um, there are solutions to most of the problems. In fact, all of the odd numbered exercises have answers or solutions or partial solutions, even the proofs. So he does provide hints or almost complete proofs sometimes uh, for the proof exercises. So that is the number one positive of this book. It's the number of exercises that the author provides and the answers he provides to those exercises. Here's an example of a proof that the author gives. So you see there is a lot of detail there, right? Looks really crazy too. I have no idea what problem this is. I just picked it because it caught my eye uh, with all of the compositions. But yeah, it's really nice that the author has this uh, in the book. That is the number one thing about this book is that he has solutions to the proofs. So you could, in theory, use this book uh, for self-study. In fact, that's actually what I used it for. Um, I used this book to supplement the book that I used for a course. So I used it as an additional resource to the book that I used for a course. Overall, I think it's a pretty good book. Uh, the readability is okay. Uh, and again, this book really shines with the number of exercises, right? You can use this for self-study if you're learning discrete mathematics. Again, the book is Discrete and Combinatorial Mathematics, an Applied Introduction. And the author is Grimaldi. I'm pretty sure this is one of the most popular uh, discrete math books that is used in the United States uh, today. That's it.